Now you want to gain your balance real quick. You want to put your boost on and you want to target as fast as you can. Because most times they're away, but this guy didn't. Boom, I run into him. Hello and welcome back to the games. Yes, and I hope you guys are enjoying my Bringing the Dangerous series. Already, we are uh, taking Hiratana and turning it into our own anarchic system. We are up a couple percent, so that's fun. I thought I'd come down here to um, <clears throat> the goal, the community goal that's going on down here in uh, Atu Henetsi. And uh, they're talking about this news uh, article here. Let's see, where they're securing the borders in the SETI sector, return of Onion Head to Panem. Uh, it's kind of like a drug trade, Kappa for Canis. Uh, farmers are growing this and people are buying it and the farmers make a living off of selling it. And if they can't sell it, then their families will not have any uh, livelihood to speak of. And they'll become destitute. And then you lose farmers and you lose food crops. And not only do they grow onion head, but they also grow food. So, you know, while this article is saying that the crime is being spiraled out of SETI sector, I find that f really slanted towards the Federation. And I'm not empire at all either i'm just looking at this as an independent type of guy and i'm saying well that's not very cool i mean now they're going to get a local force to clean up the uh so-called pirating and smuggling i mean really we're supporting the economy over here and so because of that i'm going to fight on the other side now you notice there is no uh area in the community goals here where i can sign up for the other side it seems very slanted, seems kind of elitist, that I can only sign up for uh, the, the, the Federation and to clean up the pirate scum. Gee, thanks for that label. Uh, so, because of it, I tested something out. I went over to this system here. You know, I said, well, I give him the benefit of the top doubt. You know, let me go to Kappa for Canis, or for Nasus, or whatever. I went, I went in the system where they're growing the onion head. And I went to this planet here, uh, in this station, Harvest Port, where in fact they are growing this onion head and many other crops and other good things. And I bought some. And so I took those items and I said, well, if they're having such a problem with it, then I must be going to make a great profit of it since it's a news story. So I said, I'm going to pick it up there and I'm going to try and sell it around the region for a profit. And do you know what? There was no profit in it. It's not a very realistic news story. <laughs> I'm not making any money. So on this episode of Bringing the Dangerous, uh, we're gonna actually fight for the other side by just uh, taking all the pilots and shooting at them and causing a ruckus. Because it's the only way I can see that we can prevent the evil federation from continuing to profit off of those who work hard on farms so I'm not signing up and there's nowhere to sign up for the other side and we are just gonna stay down here and we are going to be uh, an elite fighting force against the elite so let's do it let's have some fun because that's what bringing the dangerous is all about it is it's about fun and it's about teaching you how to defend yourself and uh, attack. It's, it's about dealing with player elements in the game, actual physical people. That, what is this guy doing? I, I, he's dealing with something right there. But I'm in the system and I found that this, this mode of playing was very fun for me. Uh, it gave me more purpose and I had a lot more fun playing the game. Adding a little bit more dangerous to the game is exactly what I think this game needs. Breaking that elitist mindset where you just grind for Braben's community goals 24-7. You know, I'm in system and I'm causing an impact. I don't want the community goal to be achieved because I don't believe in the community goal. And if I go around picking targets with anybody I deem as doing these community goals, some might not be. That's just the cost of it. I'm sorry. What's going to happen sometimes? 
but I'm creating an atmosphere of panic and people are not going to want to do missions here if I continually kill them. So let's get into some PvP scenarios here. I think the first one I go up against a Cobra and I will show you loadouts on, my, on this ship in the next episode and future ships that I get into. So here we go. We're flying around uh, hyperspace. We, we definitely want to get a uh, uh, interdictor drive, okay? You're going to want that armed uh, when you're flying around. And I choose... What do I got here? I would kind of like that, but it's not player-oriented. So let's find something player-oriented here. I think the first target I pick is a Cobra. And I'm flying around the station here where the missions are being done. It's a good way to pick people off. And a couple other people actually are doing it too. You always want to be aware of your sensors. And there we go. I engage it. I got it on the Cobra. You stick on them. You want to make sure that you got two circles of blue. Again, I'm teaching you guys how to do this and how to evade it as well. You want to make sure that those circles are always in the blue, right over the reticle. And, and once you get it up to the left, where you got all blue, he stops. Now, I'm, I'm in a good scenario. It's kind of like fishing. You just stay on him. And then once off, now he's a Cobra. So with the Cobra, they're very fast. Cobras and Vipers are very fast. So right out of it, you're going to see that you, you fall out of, and you go, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now you want to gain your balance real quick. You want to put your boost on, and you want to target as fast as you can. Because most times they're run away, but this guy did it. Boom, I run into him, kind of destabilize him. I put my shield uh, boosters on to boost my shield while his is down, and I come back for another pass. He does as well. He is not new to PvP. Or he is not new to PvP. He comes by. I go straight in. I have the advantage, and I try and run into him, and I miss. If I had run into him, I probably would have got him on that pass. Let's see here. And now he's going. And that's the thing with the Cobra. I even have a Cobra. They're very fast, and it's a great PvP ship because you can always escape. You know, that's the thing you start learning about fighting. You're not always going to die getting in an engagement. And once you start getting in these engagements, you build up this, um, build up this courage. And you're not so worried or so scared anymore. Now, he just flies out of there. And a lot of engagements work this way, you know. I would say a good 50% of engagements end up like this. Now, here, I grab an eagle. Now, he's a smaller target. And, I, and I'm very happy about this because I know for the most part if I'm grabbing something smaller than a Cobra class He's gonna be dead. I just got to keep on him again. This is like fishing engage the interdictor drive You stay on him again. I don't see anybody teaching this and that's why I think these videos are really important Because I I've, I've gone through YouTube and I have not seen anybody really teaching anything like this So I hope this helped you guys uh, just share and like these videos but okay now this one's my I think this is my favorite one here so I drag them out again I'm getting fined and little credits here and there and it's affecting my faction by little bits but not huge and you start to learn how to evade just about everybody and everything so that it's not as big a deal as you think a lot of people can't even fight in this game watch this guy he's in an eagle right I, I, I switch up, I go head on, I know he's smaller than me, the first rule is, never ram a ship that's bigger than you. <laughs> Boo. That was pretty funny. I like that. I shouldn't even talk over that. But, next engagement I get into was a really interesting one. Somebody realizes I'm pirating. Well, quote unquote, I'm not really pirating, I'm actually sticking up for a belief, but okay. Uh, I'm being a bad guy, right? So, he he's actually interdicting me. Okay, he's like, okay, well we're gonna we're gonna clear it up. Very cool, like it. I'm glad. I'm glad somebody's like fighting. Me. I want somebody to be resistant against what I'm doing, right? And it's an actual player, and I'm digging it. I'm trying to wrestle out of the uh, interdicting interdiction drive, and I get out and I evade it. And that that was really interesting. I fly back around. I notice this guy's been flying close too, which is probably the same guy in his wing. And I snag him up. I'm like, all right, man. Now it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. You know, your friend's getting me. You're trying to get me. Let's go. So I get down in it, let him know I'm not scared. And then boom, you get out. Again, you reorient yourself. Make sure your power levels are more towards your guns and your shields, your engines. 
not necessarily important unless you are going up uh, against, like, again, this is a Cobra, so I maybe should have gone up on my power on the uh, uh, thrusters, but now this this is a dance. Now, we're, now this is a guy who can PvP. I can tell right away this guy knows about PvP. He's probably been in the system doing the same thing I am. Uh, so now I'm reversing backwards to get a fix on him. He sees that I hit the fix, lock on, boom, I hit him pretty hard. The guns I have are pretty damn good. Now, boom, I hear that sound. You hear that sound? Now look at the sensor. That's a friend. Now you get out. It's uneven. Now I'm scared because you don't want to die. The second you see that, the second you're outnumbered, you get out. There's no sense in taking on that. There's no sense in it. And see, this is what I'm talking about. Boom, I get out relatively unscathed. You know, even against two PvP people, when you start to realize how to play this game, PvP orient wise, you get out of almost any situation unless you're in a ship that really can't handle PvP, and then that's a whole different game. There's still ways to defend yourself even those circumstances, and most people talk so much uh, in those circumstances, you have, maybe I'll do a video on that later, but I come back in, the fines aren't a big deal, I wipe the fines, I don't have the bounty anymore, just for shits and giggles, maybe I should just keep it. I don't know, uh, but I come down, I land, I am actually wanted by this station, and I still can land in it. So there's a misconception, people say, oh, if I'm wanted, I can't land in this station. You can. Okay, myth debunked. And you get down, you land, and there's the end of your day. Now, I go out after this, and I cause more of a ruckus, and I have a lot more fun. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. The game is much more fun like this, guys. Just to me. I'm not pushing it on anybody. I'm just coming in the system, doing what I do. And if if they don't like it, space is a big place. You fly to another place, man. <laughs> so there we go. As we go out to the illustrious booms, and the war happening here, and RTQ ring because the unjust federation taking money from farmers. We make a stand here, people. Bring in the dangerous. Oh, so much more on the way. And you know what? When it comes down to it, these people don't know how to fight. You could go in with a, a hauler and fight these people and probably beat them. So come on down. Let's have some fun. Bring in the dangerous. Stay tuned for the next episode. I love taking out the elites. Just love it. I could do it all night. In fact, I am... Ha 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 ha!